Wednesday, 22nd of May, you're back in business with me, Harsha Subramaniam. Adani Enterprises posted its fourth quarter earnings yesterday. Profits got a boost from other income and exceptional items of about 400 crores. Divang Desai, Executive Director, CFO of Adani Enterprises, joins us to talk about the company's numbers. Mr. Desai, thank you so much for joining in. What were the key drivers of growth for the previous quarter and how do you see business panning out across your three verticals for fiscal 14? Harsha, good morning to you. Uh, from Adani Enterprises' perspective, we have three large verticals. We have, we have our cold trading business, we have the ports and logistics business, and we have the power generation business. The last quarter, as usual, we had excellent performance both in cold trading and in ports and logistics. In fact, cumulatively for the 12 months, we have achieved the largest volumes both in terms of uh, cold trading. We did 46 million tons last year taking us to the share of almost more than 55% on the overall Indian imports uh, of the coal. If you look at the ports and logistics, we achieved 91 million tons, again a record of sorts, and we are number two, number one of the largest uh, private player and number two of the overall uh, ports and logistics in India. And this gives you a sense of the ramp up that we've done, the amount of very clear competitive business that we've built up. Again, to give you an uh, idea of the coal trading, it's an end-to-end -end solutions that we provide. So right from procurement, multi-border transport, and delivering the coal to the various end users. So the volume of this size, evacuation of such large, so it's a very, very, very important logistics play that we have built up. Sure. As you see, uh, we had 36 million tons last year. Sure. This year we did 46 million tons. Mm. And the imports of coal are continuously increasing in the next five years. Sure. And we feel that with our market share, with a very clear uh, integrated play that we have, mm. we'll continue to have this uh, position. Mm. We see very good growth, almost about 20% compounded over the next five years. Right. What is the current loan outstanding that you have for Adani Par on the books of Adani Enterprises, Mr. Desai? Uh, and do you expect this to increase from here on, considering the industry situation in power? See, we have a totally, uh, we have uh, a total 9,240 uh, megawatt of uh, power uh, capacity that we are building up. Sure. Today, 5,320 is already operational, 1,320 has been synchronized, and we will have the balance 2,640 completed during this year. We, the entire financial closure has been completed. In fact, the disbursements are happening over a period of time. And in terms of the overall uh, debt to equity, we have the power uh, business is totally funded. What has happened is that because of certain uh, constraints in the sector itself, that is the coal availability, the local, uh, the, the imported price increases, and some of the power evacuation problems, we we had we suffered during the year 12-13. And if you see our overall uh, profitability of the whole company as, as a, at under, at Adani Enterprises level. It is the power generation that has actually uh, been, you know, offsetting the uh, very good, uh, handsome profitability of coal trading and the uh, ports and logistics. But we feel that a lot of measures have taken place last year. A lot of initiatives happened on various fronts. Uh, you are aware about the CERC, uh, very clear uh, award that has been given to us for a compensatory tariff right. in addition to the regular uh, PPA tariff. Sure. So we feel that in the next quarter, we hope that these things are, they come, they are resolved, mm. and we will see a much better future for power generation, which is a very important vertical for us. You have a fairly large debt position of about oh, nearly 70,000 crores, Mr. Desai. What is the plan to bring it down, uh, and is there a timeline that you have in mind? See, overall, if you see our uh, finance uh, strategy, we have, from an infrastructure perspective, in ports, in power, we are geared as per the normal industry standards. In terms of Adani Enterprises, which is coal trading business, it's essentially much more of a short-term cycle working capital requirements. We don't have any large uh, long-term loans for that sector because that's purely a business which is of trading of a shorter cycle. And that's how overall we are much better at uh, uh, in the leverage position of less than two. And when I talk about that, I talk at the consolidated level. Uh, power business alone is a debt which is a non-recourse debt at the power level. So each of these companies, although we consolidate, each of these companies have very clearly their own uh, non-recourse structures and they fund from their own generation. It is only that 
some amount of uh, issues were there in the power sector in the last year that has shown the debt to a certain extent but we feel as the generations catch up in the ensuing 2 3 years it will be much more optimized less than 2 which is very remarkable for an infrastructure company like ours sure uh, i just want to understand your own understanding of how you see the rupee behaving mr desai i understand the last large chunk of your your debt is also foreign currency how do you see the rupee behaving uh, and how long you hedged for no what we have done is that we have consciously looked at the rupee rates and we have looked at the foreign currency borrowings right we have got a very clear hedging policy in place and as we get our threshold uh, rates of interest get uh, attracted we uh, automatically uh, execute the hedging uh, structures mm. and that's how we move and we feel that overall uh, because these are long term debts overall our finance strategy will work out all right uh, one question about the coal business as well what is your outlook on volumes and pricing specifically for fiscal 14 the coal trading is uh, as india would require substantial amount of coal we would be the large importer uh, with our uh, structure adan enterprise would play a very important role we feel the prices uh, any growing country like india and china would require this resource in a big way so possibly in the short term the prices might stabilize but again on a long term basis we feel that coal is an important resource which drives most of our energy requirements for the country too how do you plan to reduce the promoter shareholding to comply with the uh, 25% public float mr desai the sebi is fairly clear that it's not going to be extending the deadline what is the game plan to reduce your shareholding in adani enterprise limited we have already taken uh, steps in terms of the ofs mm. from time to time we have done that and we got a good response we will uh, as per the requirements of sebi will complete the formalities as per the deadlines all right so we we'll leave it there many thanks for joining us with your perspective